Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 4 of Berserk 2016 anime series. Okay, Casca's here. Casca, Casca, whatever, however you pronounce her name. Finally, I've been wanting to see her, you know, because I feel sorry for the girl, man. She's been through a lot. <laughs> oh man. But, um,. This episode was a lot more entertaining than last week's episode. I mean, that one was too, it was entertaining too, but this one was just like, you know, here's Casca. Yay! <laughs> we know what's up with her, and whew, she's just kind of crazy. I mean, not as crazy as, like, not crazy on the level of, like, Fairniece or whatever that girl's name is with the blonde hair that got attacked by the horse in the last episode. Um, that girl's a whole nother level of crazy, but Casca... Yeah, she's got the mind of, like, a child. It's just, like, when they showed her and she was like, eh, I was like, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot that she kind of lost her mind. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> in this episode, uh, Guts goes to, you know, where find where Casca is being kept and finds out that, oh, uh, she's gone. Great job, people who are keeping uh, care of her. Great job! <laughs> and he gets some new armor, and his sword gets reforged and stuff, and all this little stuff, and it's like, okay. And we learn about these two characters, Rickid and Etika, I think, and they're just these, these kids, pretty much. And, um, Guts is thinking about, you know, the whole Golden Age art stuff, and I'm just like, okay, I don't care, really, I've seen all this before. <laughs> um... He's just, you know, thinking back on the memories of that and stuff, you know, and then finds the resolve, oh, I gotta go find Casca and stuff. I'm like, thank you, go. <laughs> I thought the episode was gonna end there. I thought we had, like, like, it felt like that would be the end of the episode, but no. The end of the episode was way better than that. Um, so we go back with, uh, Fairniece, or however you say her name, Farniece, or I don't know how her na name is pronounced, but she's escorting this inquisitor, inquisitor, or whatever, however you say that word, um, this, this guy who's like, oh, I can speak to God and stuff, basically. And, um, as she's transporting him, you know, she thinks back on, uh, the horse thing, and I'm like, okay. And she thinks about what she was going to do to Guts, and I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> please, let's not remember that. Um, <laughs> and then they get ambushed by these, uh, people, um, who ambush them, because why not? And when they do, well, that guy comes out of his little carriage, his, or really big carriage, and, uh, kills them all in very brutal ways. And I was like, oh, I forgot, this is Berserk. <laughs> we got brutal stuff going on. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, this is Berserk. Brutal stuff, got it, alright. Nobody can be happy. <laughs> uh, nobody's allowed to be happy in this show, most of the time. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, and Fairniece, I'm just gonna say Fairniece, because I don't know how her name's pronounced. Um, she was getting... Um, aroused by them getting tortured and I was like okay I'm just gonna ignore that because that was weird you need to chill girl you just need to chill <laughs> yeah she's weird <laughs> yeah um she likes torture she's quite the sadist quite the sadist she is Ugh, I mean Oh boy. <laughs> and at the end of the episode, we get to see Casca! Yay! <laughs> and yeah, like I said, she has the mind of a child. Um, poor Guts, man. <laughs> poor Guts. He's gonna... I wonder if she'll ever get out of that state of being, like, a child. Because, yeah, that's not good for a relationship with her and Guts. Because right now, she probably hates Guts. Because um, she thinks, you know, but... Uh, man. And there's this girl named Luca who, uh, I guess is gonna help Casca through this time, and, um, let's hope Casca doesn't get burned at the stake! Let's hope that doesn't happen, because, uh, Guts is having some flashes of, uh, her burning at the stake. Um, like a witch. Let's, let, let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. But, here's what I think is gonna happen. They're gonna see that mark that Casca has, uh, the same thing that Guts has, because I think she has it too, and they're like, oh my gosh! She's a witch! Burn her! <laughs> Burn her at the stick! <laughs> That's what's gonna happen, I think. And then Guts is gonna come in and save her. I hope, at least, this is what's gonna happen. Because she's kind of a main character. Sort of. Kind of. But, yeah, she can't die. I feel like her friend Luca, though, might die. Because, yeah. 
Uh, I kind of don't. She, I'm already like that character. I'm like, I like her. She's cool. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got to say about this episode of Berserk. I quite enjoyed this one. What do you guys think? Is this, uh, what's this doing with the manga readers? You know, how do y'all feel about this episode? Is it, like, canon? You know, what's going on? Um, so yeah, so I see you guys in my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Diamond is Unbreakable, whatever episode it is, review later today. So see you guys then. Bye!